Yeah, and the first up, we've got a new 3D printer Kickstarter. And this is pretty weird for our show, but we'll tell you why. I'm uh, so tempted by this. Yeah, so this is pretty neat. If this plans, pans out like they say it is, it's going to be amazing. So pretty cool to see this as an option. But basically, this is a 3D printer that tries to do everything that a lot of the old uh, other 3D printers can't really do. So it does purges out the back. It's set up for multiple filaments at, at the get-go, has special hardware and software that's all been developed by this company, Bamboo. But what makes this special and why we're showing this to you today is that uh, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see a list of the people who worked on this project. Um, Look at this shit. AI, it looks at your first layer and it inspects it with AI to tell, you know, if your first layer is bad. Detects spaghetti code and, and interrupts the print. And yes, continuing. Keep going, keep going. Eventually yeah, we'll get to whatever you... Yeah, pretty cool stuff. But uh, basically, we go. we've got our gang of people here. And if we take a look at the staff, we're going to quickly find a commonality, which is every one of these people worked for DJI. Um, we, even, we even got uh, the head of the uh, FPV uh, goggles, the digital system and drones, uh, which is the COO currently of this company. Yeah. So, so basically, yeah, five people from DJI who are working to make this a uh, either better or worse product, depending on how you think about it. So it'll, hopefully it won't be as locked down as the DJI mm -hmm. products are, but it's pretty neat to see that a bunch of engineers and developers from there are getting together to make a 3D printer. I'm excited about this. I'm tempted by it. I, I haven't bought one, but I am tempted. Uh, and here's, uh, this is just, it's barely news. So technically we should just go, well, isn't that interesting and move on? But I want to talk about this for a second. What if, what if printing on paper was as complicated, fiddly, and unreliable as 3D printing, I mean, right? I mean, I agree, I agree with you, but printers still suck. But yes, I agree with you. Well, they do. Yeah. No, printers have yeah. a lot of problems. But, <laughs> but if you think about it, most of the time, you hit print, and as long as there's not a paper jam, your page comes out, mostly. Yeah, as, and that's as not as true as with 3D printers. As long as the spooler service is working, yeah, yeah, I, I uh, sorry, I have a sore heart, sore part in my heart for three D printers, or for for regular for regular printers. printers. Spent, fair spent fair hours point. And hours and hours working on regular printers. I think that there, I think that there's this divide in a lot of cases between dedicated hobbyists and users. I don't want to be a, a hobbyist about printing. My HP printer sits over there and I want to hit print and I want the page to come out. I don't want to have to know about how to reload a toner cartridge. I mean, like literally put toner in a cartridge. I just want it to, I want to use it, right? And 3D printers will eventually get there. They're too useful not to. And hobbyists will still do their thing. But I think this is, this could be a step in that direction. And for everybody in the chat who says things like I saw somebody say Octoprint can do that. It's like, yeah, Octoprint can do that. You're going to buy a Raspberry Pi. You're going to flash it with the Octoprint image. You're going to hook it up. You're going to need a power supply. You're going to add a relay to your power supply so it can switch your printer on and off. You're going to add Wi-Fi. You're going to get it on your Wi-Fi network. Your Linux is going to be out of date, blah, 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 blah. What if I just want to swipe my credit card and have a box that I sit on the counter that does the thing? That's what they're selling you. Yes. And I think that and <laughs> very few people are doing that at a consumer price point today with 3D yes, printers. It should also be pointed out that like they're aiming at Prusa prices because they're doing a Prusa thing. You know, they're they're trying to aim at that same market as Prusa, but hopefully it'd be more universal. Um, the first one starts at MSRP is a thousand dollars or eight hundred dollars if you buy in early. But the difference between this and most Kickstarters is this is a finished product. This mm -hmm. is a like completed product that will be shipping in July, um, and they've already basically built it. However, this is Kickstarter, so if they leave tomorrow, they take your money. They could. Don't forget that. They could take your money as well. So, like theoretically, we, we they're this, trying to like make a good company, and they do, they won't yes. do that. But you never it is five X DJI people. I assume that'll be good, but um, that's also something to know about Kickstarter. So, uh, anyway, kind of an interesting product and something everybody I wanna, at least know exists. I, I want to just mention this because I, I also th I've been I've been reading about this printer as well, the Anchor Make, and we're not going to go again. It, we're this, it's barely news, and we don't really talk a lot about three D printers. But this is another example of a printer that is supposed to have more intelligence, more automation, and be closer and closer to that print and go. And it's just nice to see consumer-grade printers aiming at simplifying it for people who don't want to be enthusiasts. 
And I say that as someone who, like, I aspire to be a 3D printing enthusiast. But ultimately, there are times when I, I want a, a, a gosh darn GoPro mount so I can go fly tomorrow. And my gosh darn printer isn't working, right? That's, that's always my experience. I mean, like, if my printer prints normally, it's, it's like, I don't know, like, you know, TPU and fiddly stuff and like print weird shit. And I have to like do my own supports. And like, obviously there's parts to it, but like all that is part of the process. And it just makes it frustrating a yeah. lot of times to go print something on a printer. So. I have, I have one printer, my Sovol SVO one, the very first printer that I ever got, it prints TPU very reliably and at fair quality. And I know I can get usable prints out of it. My Ender, I still don't have, I have a really good, good TPU profile on it. It was printing okay. And then I replaced the whole hot end with a direct drive hot end. And now it's like, nah, I could probably get, and my, um, and I just got this Prusa Mini behind me and it doesn't print TPU worth a damn, although I haven't played with it much. So I literally have one printer and if I need a GoPro mount, I'm like, oh, please, please don't break today. And if it breaks, I'm just boned. So yeah, make us better 3D printers. All right. Moving on. That was the, that was the first story and it's barely news. The rest of them will go much faster. 